Yeah, so that was like the last time the police ever chased me. They never actually did find the body, though. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering <laughs> Online. And uh, we're just... <laughs> was that okay? And... Uh... Yeah, and that's how I ended up in Walmart. No, but that's very uh, that's very Breaking Bad, though. It was a fugue state I was in. Cool stuff. Games is doing a team construct tournament in January. You and Mike gonna squad up? Uh, Mike actually can't go to events because he works on Saturdays and weekends, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So he's unless basically... it happens to be this coming Sunday, then no. What's this coming Sunday? Oh, you got like a day off? Yeah. Oh, Sunday that's cool. Monday off. Oh, that's cool. Congrats, man. And technically Thursday, Friday, if I want to get not paid a lot. But it's up to me. So we shall see. Chat's been talking in these, in these command brackets. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't show up on the thing. Yeah, it's real. Because they were doing it the whole time. They were like, hey, man, your stream sucks. Frank's the worst. In brackets. And then it'd be like, God, I love this stream so much. And God, I love this stream so much. It'd be like the only thing that shows up in the, in the, huh. in the thing. <sighs> yeah, look, this one says Vapor Chat, but over here it says nothing. Oh my god, it's so weird, man. Why is that a thing that happens? I don't know. How did how'd that even become a thing? How did that be figured out? Someone figured it out randomly. They used one bracket, and then I think someone like messed around and used two brackets on the next time. And then it's just sort of... I still I got a haircut today, so I feel like I have hair all over. The post haircut hair all over. Did you not shower afterwards? I just did right now. I was just literally in the bathroom with the water running. You didn't hear that? Oh, that's what that was? Now, when I get a haircut, I take like a full on shower. I don't have to do that. They didn't come, they didn't like, it's, it's not going to go past my collar line. How am I going to get, I'm not going to get hair on my legs or anything. You don't know my hair. I, you know, I don't, you know, I don't. And that's pretty okay. What are we doing here? Are we taking? Pick something, man. Are we taking? What does that even mean? Are we taking? Yeah, would they? You have I to said, pick what one? are we taking? Oh, I thought you said, are we taking? And I was like, yeah, that's how this works. Is, is the collar in this cube? The collar? Yeah. No, you can't be getting those. No, you're not getting those cunning spark mage basilisk collar. Why not? Man, come on. I think you just take Nissa then. Nissa? Yeah. You sure? I think so. Yeah, this pack's not. This is why you're not picking? Mm. I might do all the Because you're picks? looking at your, your eyes, your ridiculous eyes. Oh my god. Might as well take another Nissa. I thought you just stare. Yeah, you do. You just stare. This is not a good Nissa. We're not just taking it because it says Nissa. Why not? Okay, I'll do the picks. You know what? Forget it. Well, we can switch off. <laughs> we try. I do a pick, you do a pick. <laughs> that doesn't help if you're still not going to take your pick seriously, even if they're only half the time. That's a good... Why isn't it good? Why isn't this Nissa good? Because she's not good. She untaps the land and makes it a 4-4. Four four. It's a 5-5, five five, but sure. 5-5, five five, even better. See, she's getting better all the time. You can return a card from your grave to your hand. That's good. A permanent. Uh, you uh, land. That's good. I like it. Or take that. That's probably better. <laughs> take the, take the other card. I don't know. We can go Naya. Take this assemble the legion. Or we take Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn is pretty good. So is Avacyn. So is Quarantine Field. So is Virtuous Gear Hulk. What's going on, yo, Fizzle? I actually like Tristani a lot as well. Someone made a joke about it yesterday. How did the cake turn out? On point, Kerwit. It was pretty delicious. Uh, Kerwit ordered some cheesecake yesterday for Elk Tears' birthday. And mm -hmm. by ordered it, it means he sent it here. He had a piece of cheesecake delivered here. For, Ker for, for Elk Tears' birthday, yeah. I'd take a symbol. It's really good. It is really good. But do you want to be three colors? Well, we don't necessarily know we're green or white yet. Oh, Boros Signet. And two Titans. Two Titans of Industry. Actually, Frank, they are Titans of the 2012 Corset. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. 
Uh, I don't think they'll say 2012 on them. M12? Yeah. That's that's still... What do you think the 12 stands for? The letters 1 and 2. 1 and 2 are letters? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My... <laughs> All I had to say was yeah, and that got him. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> it wasn't just your yeah. It was that, like, hesitation at the beginning. You're like, uh, yeah. Thank <laughs> God. Take that Thunder Mile, okay? I'm taking this Temple Garden, man. Why? I want to fix. I don't care about no five-drop floaty boy. That guy just wins games, though. It actually does, does win games. It actually crushed me yesterday. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. Actually, we can take this history banalia. Yeah. What if we take? What if we do play the token deck and just play overrun? Well, history banalia is pretty good for token deck. What did someone say? Olive Garden. I think it's Olive Garden here. That is weird. I like history here. I bet the overrun comes back. Actually. Ooh, I like an Avicen's Pilgrim. It adds our white and our green. How do you feel about that, man? There's also a Dragon Lord Tarka. I, I did like that. I think I'd rather have cards let us play these earlier than, than, a, than a seven drop, though. Fine. I meant Temple Garden, but I typed Olive Garden. I miss. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think the correct pick is the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden, you say. I think you mean the Temple Garden. What about. I guess Kitchen Finks is the only card in our colors here. Yeah. Yeah. It's the late Assassin's Trophy. Oh, Banalish Marshall, a card we're probably not going to be playing. Oh, I'm going to take this. Ex I'm going to take this Aurelia. She got Mentor. She's basically a Planeswalker. I'm not so sure about that. Really? She can attack for four every turn and put a 1 1 counter on one of your creatures? That's Planeswalkery, man. I also thought he meant Olive Garden was delivering cheesecake because you're like, hey, it's free cheesecake uh, tomorrow delivered. And he's like, yeah, I think it's actually Olive Garden. And I was like, I don't think it's a, like a multi. Corporation promotion that's going on here. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Good talk. Wait, that's really a thing? You can get free cheesecake tomorrow? Uh, cheesecake is, yeah, it's a thing. It's a promotion. What about Virtuous Gear Hulk? Or, I think it's Night of Autumn, right? Sure. That's right. I've got it. How do we take advantage of this free cheesecake? Uh, you order it and they bring it to you. I'm in. <laughs> well, I'd hope so, because that was probably the easiest thing you'd have to do. Look, it, it came, came back. back. Yay. What's the next pick? The next pick is going to be Overrun. Oh, Hornet Queen. And Pia. I don't take the Hornet Queen. This is also a three drop. I don't know why you're over there in the five drop splot. Splot. I like that we both repeated splot there. That's good. Oh, Michael, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and... All, every, every card I would play in our deck. We are heavy white. And maybe I seem a bit confused, but Michael, I've got you pegged. Look at all these titans. A gr yeah, but this is we've opened. We've seen four of the five titans so far. Two of them. They both have been in, in double packs too. This pack is actually insane for us. I would take any of these. Th uh, any of these. I would take this. I would take this and look for the Sahili. No, I wouldn't because I don't have. I also like Girl Signet because it's two of our colors. I, I definitely don't think uh, I don't think it's sort of fire and ice over primeval titan. I think primeval titan is definitely the uh, the dude. Have you ever cast a primeval titan? Yeah, it's pretty good. You basically win the game on the spot, which is weird because it's only getting you lands. It's also six six trampler. It does. It is big. Damn boy. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Damn. <laughs> that's how I feel about Primal Titan. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Elvish Mystic here. The G's can't, can't just be free. You gotta, like, I'm sure there's, like, a minimum order. All right, so the article says, DoorDash teaming up with Cheesecake Factory delivery 40,000 free slices. 
On Wednesday, December 5th, you can get a free slice of cheesecake when you order with the food delivery service. According to Cheesecake, they are giving away 40,000 free slices to celebrate their 40th anniversary. All you need to do is enter the call free slice. Start a start free delivery at participating locations. Zero dollar delivery fee on all the Cheesecake Factory orders from December 5th through 11th. No promo code needed. What problem is, man? Oh, Celestia Signet? That's great. Also, Sacred Foundry? Dang. Sacred Foundry's pretty good. I think it's Sacred Foundry. We want the we want the fixing lands. I'd rather my lands do things than my than have signets. Also, the signet could probably come back. Maybe it's more like the Sacred Foundry. I like the Huntmaster. What'd you say? Cultivate. I think it's just Huntmaster here. Huntmaster's real good, man. I'm taking Huntmaster because I don't care about you. That's why. Okay. Got him. Got him. He has been gotten. I don't know if I have. Ooh, take that wolf run because we got prime time. I don't actually hate that. <clears throat> got a Utopia Scrawl. Yeah, I guess. A Dawn Binger. Oh, that one's pretty good. Condemn. What about Big Garrick? We ain't playing no black cards. I missed yesterday. Did the cake arrive? It did. It, it arrived and it was delicious. I consumed it. Post haste. I consumed it. I like Utopia Scrawl because it lets us play our... The redrops early. I don't like Kessa Girlfriend just because it's a three color deck. That's my only concern. And we have double white, double white, double color, double color, double. I like all. We have a lot of color requirements. I want to take Utopia Sprawl. Oh, Bloodbraid Elf. Needle Spires too, actually. Llanowar Elf. I think it's either an Elf or a Spires here. I don't know which Elf though. Cascade OP. Yeah, Utopia Sprawl is weird because that's going to Forest, but we're going to be playing a good amount of Forest because we want to be able to play these on turn one anyway, so it's not really that much. Like, our plan is to play Elvish Mystic or Avacyn's Pilgrim on turn one, so we need a blue, a, a green source, which is most likely going to be Forest, so... You know, we're going to have a green source on turn one, ideally. So we're building our deck in such a way that that we have... What did you say? I said Cascade OP. Yeah, Bloodbird Elf is better than... Other elf. Arid Mesa. That's really good for us. Arbor Elf and Fertile Ground, though. Ah. Arid Mesa's way better. Yeah, it gets both of our things. Oh, oh, oh. And Wooded Foothills. Wooded Foothills is also really good for us. I don't think you've ever played it. Have you ever played a Plowhunter before? It's pretty good. Did you see how quick I snapped it off? I'm going to take this Gruel Signet this time. That That's really lucky that that came back. Holy snaps. Holy snaps, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good sideboard tech. These are the holiest of snaps. How do we only have 21 playables? This is pack two. Oh! Yeah, we're actually way ahead. How, oh, this deck is going to be good then. How are we two playables short? I thought we were in pack three. No, like... I'm sad that the Wooded Foothills and the... Um, there was a Sun Petal Grove late. Like, a lot of our, our land options got... We, we took a bunch, We took a bunch though. We can still get a Windswept Teeth. We can still get uh, Stomping Ground. Two on-color signets is very good. Sword of Warm Peace. Sun Lance. Eh, I like Sun Lance here. Sure. I don't know if I main deck it, but it's nice to have. I was literally in bed for like 16 hours straight, other than when I got up to use the restroom to get water. Oh, geez. Hey, look. Cultivate came back. Sure. Wolf Run came back. Nicey. Nicey. Isn't that the uh, isn't that the intensive care unit for for babies? The NICU? Yeah, I don't think so, man. Really? Thanks. Yeah. The NICU. Pretty sure it's the neonatal intensive care unit, buddy. I don't know if they pronounce it that way. Yeah, they're like, yeah, put the baby in the NICU. That's exactly how they say it. I don't know why you would think otherwise. <coughs> Oh, a little grave crawler. Deck does look dope, especially because it's only pack two. Uh, well, that's not the one we want. What up, Brondis? Brondis? I said Brondis. Ronis? Rondis. There's no D in there. I like to call him Rondis. You just started calling him that right now. No, nah, I've called him that before. I called him that before? When? 
yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Were you talking to Rondis yesterday? Yeah, I was talking to Rondis yesterday. I definitely yesterday. get scores here. Yeah, probably. I bet the Rondis comes back. Ooh, Rampaging Bailoff. Also lighting. Oh, now you're excited about the Rampaging Bailoff. Well, we got prime time. It's a combo. That is actually a combo. Mike B, will you be joining us for Commander tonight? No, I have a poker game tonight. Oh, then we'll do it tomorrow. Do you want to do it tomorrow? Sure. All right, cool. Help me, Ron. Are you in for that? What? The poker game? I don't think so. I just no. don't I don't think I care that much. It's too bad. You're not wrong. It's a good time. Is it? Yeah. How do I know? Because I went there before and it was a good time. How can I trust that? You don't like poker? I don't like you. Wow. Yeah. What's the pick here, man? I told I said my piece. You said rampaging bailouts? Yeah. Yeah, I like that actually. Ooh, Avengy? Avengy? I That's like good Vivian though. Reed. Yeah. Vivian Reed's one of my favorites. One of my faves, as it were. We also didn't that overrun didn't come back, which is kind of surprising to me. Oh, rampant growth. That's a good one. We do need to oh inspiring vantage though. Remember this is just a better version of that, right? Wow. A better version of A Land? I don't think so, buddy. I'm going to take it, though, because we only have like three three rampies for on, on three. But God, we're already at 26 cards. This is awkward. I want to sideboard this guy. Sideboard the Kitchen Finks, I guess. I don't love Thunder My Hawkeye. It's also double red. Don't care about Burst Lightning. I think it is Jade Light Ranger. Yeah. Still twenty three cards. Oh, I've, and offends I don't I don't care about at all. Yeah, it's pretty hard to cast too. At least when you want to cast it. I think I just want the copper line gorge here. I don't think we need any of those other cards. Send the bloom. Thank send the boom. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Help me, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah this song. No. All right. Well, we had a good run. Did we? No, we never had a good anything. Wow. I'm going to go copy line gorge. <clears throat> a Johnny Vent... Oh, stomping ground. Stomping ground! That's exactly what we wanted to hit. Now we have temple, sacred, and uh, stomping. That's exactly... Exactly what we wanted. I was hoping this was our third signet that we needed, but that one's in the last pack, so... I don't hate Chandler initiate. I also don't mind Xenagos. I don't think we're playing either. Really? You don't think we play Xenagos? Um, maybe Xenagos. I'm playing Xenagos, just to spite you. Okay, well, calm down. Okay. But excuse me? You don't know my life. Do you understand? Do you understand? I don't know what I was going to do there. Oh, Thrag Tusk. Wow, all three of the cards that I wanted came back. All right. I feel like we should definitely main deck the... Uh the uh, three drop. The beast one? Yeah. Really? It kills anything, man. What are cutting for it, man? Um, you anything? Know? I like Lightning Helix. I like Thrag Tusk, too, though. I think Thrag Tusk is better. We don't have much removal, though. Keep that in mind. I'm going to take the Lightning Helix because of that. And then we definitely <laughs> want to play the beast with them if we don't have a lot of removal. <laughs> I think you can give it away at 24 as well here. Wow. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yes. It's good to see you spending time with your beautiful baby boy. What a treasure. You must be so <laughs> proud. I'm not, but I appreciate you saying so. That's nice of you. Very, you're very kind, Monster. Michael, listen up. Oh. What happened? Shut up and take my money. I have no idea what the first part of that says. Ichorus missed sub shout out. Oh. Oh, Ichorus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I guess I'll just take over and battlement. I did admit. Oh, look at this. Look at this fatty. Look at this fatty. <laughs> wow, and chonker. this guy? Jeez. I don't think we're playing that guy, but... What's this guy on the chonk scale? <laughs> Heavy chonk. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you think we're playing? Uh, the, the, the chonker? triple green guy. Really? Seems very ambitious. All right, fine. Stack Suicide, welcome back, Risa. Such a 39 months? That is a long time, dude. Mitch, that is a long it's time. It's almost my whole life. What'd you say? It's almost my whole life. That's almost Michael's whole life. 
Yeah, he's... God. Did you cut? Uh, overgrown Battlement. I agree with that. Beast Within can come in. Did you cut History? It is double white. So is Elspeth. I guess it gives us more time to get... Yeah, that's fine. We can cut that. This is 12 creatures, but we also have Elspeth, Xenagos, Assemble the Legion. And creatures that make creatures. And this is at least three. It's 15. I like this deck. This deck looks good. I guess we can play the uh, the old Kessig Wolf run. Yeah. We can be the first people in, in Modern Cube to play it. <clears throat> Having uh, all three of the Shocklands on color is very, very nice. We are very heavy green. Wow. All right. Well, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is red sources. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. White sources. We need double whites. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Add 1, cut 1. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, we can actually add one. We can, yeah, that's. We're just going to play 41, right? How many planes are we playing? How many planes? Three. How many white sources, I meant. <clears throat> Six and then Boros Signet, so seven. Okay. Hmm. Is it worth even playing the white? Uh, playing the white, yes, because we have Knight of Autumn, Aurelia, and Assemble, and it's just a really easy splash. It might not be worth playing Elspeth. Yeah, that double white. We could make our lands a lot better with a double white. We also have Absence Pilgrim, actually. Yeah. A lot of white sources. And Utopia Sprawl and Rampant Growth. <laughs> and Cultivate. I don't think we're going to have any issue getting double white here. Okay. I mean, this is 11 sources. This is 11 ways to get white mana. And several of them add two. I guess one of them adds two. I think it's actually fine. Okay. We'll see how many times it's an issue. <clears throat> the answer will be none. None times. None times. Yes. But that is correct. The answer is zero, Michael. Look at this hand. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. I'm still going to keep it. It's two lands. Cheese Wisp, thanks so much for this. Dorisa, welcome back. Four months in a row. God, time flies. You know, if we had a third land, we can beast within our own land to get a 3-3. Three, three. I feel like Cheese Wisp's sub is almost your entire life as well. It is time to duel. And duel we shall. My name is Michael. Oh. I see. I've just become... Well, it was a good game. It was good. We had a good run. Man, where's the Deccan Stone when you need it? Yeah, they used to call him Old Galaxy Brain back in the day. What? What? Huh? What? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Are they just gonna insta insta rat? Of course they are. <sighs> Never don't insta rat. Rats all day. Rats all night. Everybody have rats tonight. Everybody, do we just make a four or three? Let me block a rat and take another four. Probably. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Mike, Galaxy Brain, Barbobbly, boo. Mike, look out. They're coming to collect your rat debt. They are. They don't. They're really passive about collecting the rat debt. Not today. Not today. Not today? Who? They're killing us. Oh, the pack rats. Yeah, I blame you for this. Just one? Why not both? I can only block one. I mean, this forces you to use your turn, right? So, like, if you were going to do this anyway, you, there's no reason not to attack with this guy. I don't actually understand why they didn't attack here. Yeah, they just missed out on free damage. Yeah, they could have gotten three free points in. <clears throat> it's very strange. I'm very confused. Land. 
I guess you're kind of like a land, but you could also not be a land. So maybe I just call... I have to play this. I have to play the things that get me ahead. And help me with the rats. The rat deaths. Give me one land, one spell. One land, one spell. Oh, wonderful. Well, maybe the next one's a land, huh? Huh? Boy, I hope so. Good talk. Good talk. Are you doing okay? What? I don't know, man. You're weird. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your weirdness. What weirdness are you referring to? The one that exists in your life. Yep, I'm going to keep on blocking. If you want to keep discarding your cards, that is fine. Legend has it they never had more than two rats out at any time. Red Dad Redemption. <laughs> Land. Oh, for f come on. Nope, that's not going to do it. That's annoying, man. 13 cards, 3 lands? Come on. Red and white. Put the red into play and I'll play the white. Well, now they get in for 9 because Pack Red is a pretty fun card. It's a fun magic card. If we were to play Bloodbraid Elf here, it'd be pretty ridiculous, but unfortunately. Nope. Magic is a hard game. When you can't play your spells. Guess I'm taking nine damage and there's not... And even if we have an answer for one of these guys, like we don't have an answer for the other... Well, I guess we can play Bloodbraid and hope to hit like... Maelstrom Pulse, that's not on our deck? Yeah, we hope to hit Maelstrom Pulse, that's not on our deck. Still didn't hit a land, so... I mean... What if... I'm listening. Oh, it doesn't matter, you already played it. I was going to suggest Assemble the Legion. What's that do? We'd be dead. we take nine. Oh, yeah. He makes another one, right? <laughs> he doesn't have to make another one. There's literally nine on board. We play Assemble. Nothing happens. Oh, it's at your upkeep. You get a guy. Okay. All right. Lightning Helix comes in for your stupid idiot rat. Burst Lightning comes in. Sun Lance comes in for your stupid idiot. <laughs> just bringing in all of the... How you doing over there? Sorry. Was that loud? I'm sorry, was that loud? <laughs> Actually, isn't this a 16 land deck? We have 3, 4, 5, 6. I thought we were playing 16 lands. No, we're playing 17 there. You doing okay? I don't know why you always put your forehead on the mic. It's pretty strange. No one's ever done this before. In the history of the world, no one's ever done it. I like how we play one Kessig Wolf run and we see it every game. <laughs> yeah, this is my concern. Like, just because it's... It's good when you can get it off of Primeval Titan, but if you can't, then it's just... you're In your three-color deck, it's rough. Are you playing the Straw Trombone? The, stro mm -hmm. the Strombone, if you will? What about the Tone Bone? Started using the flavor shot thing after watching you. My first one. I put, wait, what flavor shots? What is that? Oh, are these like oh, Mio's. like the little, the little, like these little. little yeah, you got to be. Oh, good. How nice. Yeah, you got to be careful with these because they are concentrated. Just make sure you spray them directly into your mouth. Yeah, spray them directly into your mouth. I recommend that. Like this. Oh. I'm glad they took our rampant growth there. I was afraid I'd be able to cast my spells reliably. Never fear. <laughs> well, at least we drew a Sunland, so if they play. I'm hoping they play rat. rat here. I'd be so thrilled. They don't know about the Sunlands either. They don't. They don't know about that. What you know about my Sunlands? Guess they don't have it. No, well, rats off to you. Just drink the shots as little bottles of thick water. Nope. Your mouth would bleed. <laughs> Sorry, that made your eyes for a refreshing burst of eye flavor. Oh, God. Can we do that? No. Uh, well, you're being a little baby, all right? Come on, please land. Oh, thank goodness. Welcome to Please Land, home of the Please Land. Can I take your order?
Rude. Cool. I say uses up his next turn. I guess so. I guess. I hope I can just play a land and then go Vivian Reed and kill your sword. That'd be nice. One time I was in England and got a bottle of juice. I was drinking it for a few days and it was super strong. Then in the morning I realized it was in the and realized it was concentrated and was supposed to be diluted like five. Oh, God. It's not ideal, buddy. Delicious. Is it? Yes. You don't know that. Might not be. We did it. We're very good at this game. Pact of negation. That'd be super okay. Yeah, because then they die. Uh-oh. Doom Whisperer. Doomsday, Boomsday. Can I get a land with her? Nice. I don't need it anymore, but it's nice. All right. Well. Lightning Helix would have been nice. Hmm. I guess we're attacking first. If they want to block, I'm very okay with how that's going to work. Wait, this is for real? I can't tell if this is really happening. We just get to make this a 6-7? Did they not know that this Thorn's Hand has this ability? Because that's pretty insane. Alright, I guess I'll just eat your Doom Whisperer for free. That seems good. Wow. Cotton in the court and he did ride. C Crambo. And they might have done the math and been like, okay, so it takes two to activate this, and then you can pump it for three, so it'd be a 5-3. Five, five, three. Like, but no, I'll just use the onboard trick. This dude's surveilling. Surveilling for days. I mean, we don't get to play Primeval Titan, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Michael went to court and he did ride a crumbo. Am I going to court and a heated rhino? Am I going to court and a heated rhino? Am I going to court and a heated rhino? How are you doing up there, man? Just fine. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing good. You're glad? I'm glad. Ha 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 ha. They put both cards on the top there? Oof. Oh, wait. Why did you put... Wait, hold on. They surveilled put two cards on the top, and then they surveilled again after that. I have no idea what's happening right now. This is a very confusing game. Sure. And then you kill this guy with like a Doom Blade so you get a Zombo? No. Huh. Oh, I like a Bloodbraid Elf here. I like a Courser too, though. I think Bloodbraid's better. We're at 18. Uh, Just attack and see if he blocks again. <laughs> well, I might want to play Bloodbraid first. I don't think there's anything we can hit, though, is the problem. They might block force us to play to pump and then kill it, though, is my concern. We have Sunlance. We can always just attack, see if they block, and then Sunlance it. It's a sorcery. He's still going to have damage on him. Well, no, but if we pump it in response... Oh, I didn't mean to pump it. But then, what, so we just block, he blocks it? Yeah. And then we just let it die? Yeah. And then we Sunlance? Yeah. Is that good? It's a two for one to get rid of a Kalidus. They have one card. They also have one card in hand. 
Yeah, I don't think it's some two-mana removal spell. I didn't realize they had one card in hand. Yeah, all right, sure. You okay? Just dying, that's all. It sounds like it. I feel like you are dying, and I feel bad for you. One, two, three, four, five, six... Primeval Titan, no do do, scootin' do do, do do do, do 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 do. Let's get a Temple Graydon and a f mount a f mountain. F mountain. Uh, I like to pay. No, I think I'm good without paying the two life. Thanks though. Preach. Pay two life to keep it in play tapped. Oh, you did have a Doom Blade. Huh. That's weird because I feel like you should have blocked here and then forced me to pump and then. Huh. He had the Soul Read? I guess. Tim, that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Also, it's amazing, but very weird. And I've seen the little finger hands. Well, I guess Vivian dies. Yeah, it's amazing how one Doom Blade actually changes the entire course of this game, unfortunately. On three? Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can do everything, too. Why on three? I can't actually tell if they're ghosting or not. Oh, that's real good. Wow. Well, that's a three drop, so... I guess you get some value off of your, your thing. Um, I'll put you on the top. <laughs> oh, and we got a forest out of it? Sure. Sure. You have no cards in hand, so like, if I put these back, you just have to draw them for the next two turns. That's cool. So next turn we get to play Bailoth and play land. And we also have... Uh, I don't think we're attacking here. Like this guy, they can make him a 5-6. And we can deal... Well, we can only deal 5. I'm going to attack with Bloodbraid. If they attack with Zombie, we'll block it. If they attack with Kalidus, we'll just take it. It's fine. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. I totally forgot about the Zombie ability. That's That's a good one. And then they get another zombie. Yeah, this is a decent play. This is why we're just giving this game away. <sighs> Man. Well, we get to keep Night of Autumn at least. However, I'm not sure how we deal with uh, this huge Kalidus other than like triple blocking, I guess. Yeah, un unfortunately we did actually hit the one card, one of the few cards in our deck that dies to uh, the engineered explosive that they randomly played on three. I mean, maybe they remember the Knight of Autumn in our hand. I don't know. Sure, block here, you'll sack it. We'll take five, we'll play Rampaging Bailoth, we'll play land. We'll kill the other Zombo. Onboard tricks do give it and they do take it away. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Still think we're fine. Do you do you now? And we're 
just gonna make a thing a big dude because you know what they're drawing next turn so a whole bunch of nothing put two one one counters on this guy also we have Kessig Wolf run next turn which is pretty insane whole lot of nothing so you are wow 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 ooh 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 wee isn't he just dead to Wolfram I feel like they are just dead to Wolfram yes all of our creatures are super lethal right now however we can play this and untap four lands so it really only costs us one. A fair point. And they pretty much have to block, so. Untap. One, two, three, four. What up, Psy Tree? Froggy went a court and a hit it right. Sidetree with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right. I'm on it all. They go to one? Sure. Would it have been lethal if we just did it on a different guy? I don't know. Also would have been lethal if we didn't play Nessa. Wow, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> good point, good point. I guess we should have done... I guess we should have <laughs> just just not been greedy. He's already dead. Oh, we didn't do the math, so... I didn't do the math, I just didn't. I was like, eh. Oh, actually, Mirror Crusader seems utterly insane in this matchup. You're correct. I'm actually... Night of, Night of Autumn is kind of meh. Kitchen Finks is probably better. Oh, scam likely. I wonder if I should answer it right here on the stream. Hello. Hello, this is Domino's Pizza. How may I serve you? Hello, this is Milos. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always Milos? That's his name. Who? Milos. Who's this Milos and how do you know him? I don't know him personally. Well, you always talk about him. Answer, please. Put the scam on stream. I don't think I care about Beast was in here. I only ever want to use Magic Line for Q anymore. Yeah, that's that's kind of me as well, but I like new sets when they come out. Oh, this hand's actually great, dude. Unless he has a way to kill our elves. Then we're in real bad. Do you really think they would have a way to do that? Then we're in real bad doo-doo. That's Milos. Who? Milos! You're not even, not even listening. At least you're not an iShare. I mean, there's two types of phones, right? There's Samsung Galaxies and there's iPhones. There's other kinds of phones. No, Michael. There's Google Pixels. That's true. Google Pixel is breaking in a little bit. Here comes Thoughtseize. Never game. Yep, never fails. All right. What's he going to take? This. It goes in the graveyard right now. You ready? He might take an elf. Never taking an elf. Wow. That was unexpected. Wow. 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 Mike wants it all. And he wants it now. The guy who brought the cake was, uh, that was Mule. Muke? Muke. This guy's getting countered for sure, right? No? <laughs> they know this has pro black, right? Probably not. Well, oh, this is awkward. Dang it. I know. I was thinking the same thing. Dang it. All right. I guess he could have damnation. What damnation? 
I mean, that actually be really brutal. It would be, it would be sad. Sad. Why is this so long? Look how long this is. Didn't we see a damnation in his graveyard? I don't remember that. Are you sure you're thinking of the right thing? Well, it's not like we're gonna. We have no reason to play the elf anyway. can't think of anything that can play for four mana. Teferi? Teferi costs four mana? No, the the other one. Venser. Venser. Yeah, I could just kill that with Lightning Helix. I was going to say, I can't think of anything that can play for four mana where I could, that I can't just kill with Lightning Helix. Crux of Fate for five, maybe? I don't know what's going on here. Not getting rid of the pro-black pro creature seemed like it was not ideal, but... Yeah, well, Languish is just an alternate Damnation, so, I mean, that, that falls under the Damnation header, I think, if we're talking about Damnations. Anyway, we won the game, so... That game would have been so much different if you just took your pro-black guy. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't have died. <laughs> that would have that would definitely would have changed the course of the game. I agree with you. Yeah, that was suspect. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, Vivian Reed's good and all, but, you know... She ain't super fast. Yeah, other than Packrat, I felt like we were in good shape those those matches. Packrat's a hell of a drug. Boy, it really is, isn't it? Oh, it really is, isn't it? Isn't it? Hey, man, we should look into getting a better, better chair for you. Just me looking into it. No one can see you. Oh, there we go. There you go. There you go. Now that my back's not bad, it's not really that big of an issue. Yeah, but that chair was never super comfortable, right? No. Right, so I mean, like, is this hand good enough? I'm going to keep it. It's got powerful spells. Any one ramp spell and we're just like... If anyone has any recommendations for a chair that can hold a big boy like Mike comfortably for, like, several hours while we stream, let us know. Yeah, Mike's back is actually doing a lot better. At least I think it's so. It's not livable. So I think it was muscular, not bonular. If it was bonular, I don't know how I fixed it by just laying no, down. You're, well, yeah, you would, no, you would... Uh, bonular, by the way, that's definitely a word. Yeah, everybody knows bonular. How did I fix my back? I don't know, I just kind of got better over time. I didn't really do anything specifically. I mean, I did some stretches now and then, but... Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Were they bonular stretches or muscular stretches? Both. Man, another blue-black deck, huh? Three drop. There's so many three drops in our deck. It's unreasonable that, like, in the first ten cards, there isn't a two or a, a one, two, or three drop. How many do we have in our deck? I'll never know because you're not going to show me, are you? Okay, I wish I could look at my deck, but I guess that's a that's an advanced Magic Online feature, I suppose. Um, da -da -da -da. So you can't activate this by any stretch of the imagination. We can play Huntmaster and play around Spell Pierce, but I think it's probably just worth it to play Zenigos here. Zen Boy. Do you agree? Do you concur? I like Zen Boy. Oh, that's just insta resolved. All right. <sighs> da -da -da -da. Sorry, I was just kidding. Don't think he plays worms. What are you saying right now? Biren, what are you saying, buddy? Are you referring to the game worms? Uh, because that game was amazing. That was probably one of my favorite games on the Dreamcast. Bone Euler, Skeletal Lord, Black Black, tap target Mike. That Mike does not untap ever again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's all Bone Euler. Now we got a YouTube link. Bone Euler. Are we doing pizza now? And did you are we doing pizza now? And did you get my nice I got your text message. Um I already have all the Hearthstone cards. Like my Hearthstone collection is ridiculous. Um, I already, I had lunch before, I, I always eat lunch before I stream, I don't know why we're doing pizza all of a sudden, Brian. Uh, I think we just play Assemble the Legion here, right? Yeah. I don't think they can win. I don't think they can win. Unless they can dancer it, of course. And dancer it? Dancer it. You didn't attack there? No. I didn't know, so why are you yelling at me? Oh, because <laughs> like, I don't know. It was just a very, I don't know, it felt like a random, uh. 
if it well, I didn't, first off, I didn't mean to yell at you. I love you. Um, it just came out of the blue. I was like, that was, that's random. What a random uh, thing. Also, like, I thought maybe you might have noticed when I streamed Hearthstone before that, like, my collection was looking pretty solid. I Got guess, a lot of gold boys. I guess they just kill our Xenagos now. However, if we can hit a land here. Okay, that'll do. Oh, wait, wait hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the telephone. How many forests do we have? All of them. No, we have four. Oh, uh, that's enough to cast a Bloodbraid Elf. That's true, but that's not all of them. It's all of them. Oh, wow. So we get to kill your treasure map. Yeah, this is a solid turn. Attack. So, Elspeth, your face. Uh, Elspeth. Wow, so we got to kill your treasure map, we played a Nyssa, and we killed your Elspeth this turn. That's pretty and good. And got an Elenorf. What? Ultimate map? What are you saying, Brian? What? What? Are you being for real, Brian? Are you being for real? Uh, Mike, what are... Frank and Mike, what are your top three holiday movies? Hint, there's a correct answer. Uh, number one for me is Die Hard. Die Hard's pretty good. Die Hard was the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, how much mana do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten mana. You know how I do, and why are you questioning? You know I don't. I know you don't joke. That's funny because, well, so I still haven't talked to you about your store yet, so I'm still curious about what's going on there. Um, I guess that doesn't. I guess that wouldn't really affect things, though, right? Home Alone's a pretty good Christmas movie. Gundam Wing Endless Waltz is my favorite Christmas movie. Wow, I'm a big fan of uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Can we just kill them here? Like, are they dead? <laughs> Home Alone lets me really my childhood memories of being abandoned for weeks on no end. Wow. Let's play an Elspeth. All right. I remember before Christmas. That's a good one. I mean, I guess we're hoping to dodge, like, Wrath of God here. But we still have Assemble and two dudes, so. We're just going real wide here. How's that sound? I don't know if this is good. It's going to be bad if he has an answer. I mean, is it? Because we have th three Planeswalkers on board. Fair. I mean... I think we're okay. I don't know if you should have made a 1-1 one -one there. I think jumping would have been better, but... Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Well. Uh, I want to keep two of these dudes back. Why? We're 21. Oh, uh, it's not... Because I want to be able to block here. I, mean, I guess four guys is enough. I don't know. Whatever. So you're going to go block 3-2, shoot 2-1. It's actually very good for a murderous red cap. But we have to get this dude off the board, so. Yep, that seems fine. Our board still looks nuts. Uh, Iron Chef Shammy, I don't know if you're joking, but that movie is literally called Elf. He has to be joking, right? What did they play? I would oust? think so. What did they oust? They ousted our our wolf token. Got to do what you got to do. I guess you do.
So I can just make a 4-4 four, four and give it float and then attack you for like a bajillion? He's definitely dead. I guess. What if they have solar wreckage? I'm still fine. He's still utterly dead. Are you sure? Yeah. Settle the wreckage? Do you know what settle the wreckage does? I know what it does. But what's it? So, okay, he exiles our guys, right? And next turn we get four new more dudes and another. And then we still have Elspeth and Nyssa. Let's settle the wreckage. Clegane, thank you so much for the eight months. Really appreciate it. Also, your name reminds you of Clegane. I'm not sure if you're familiar with who that is. <laughs> Isn't that the mountain? Uh, well, it's the mountain and the hound. There are two different Cleganes, Gregor and Sandor. Are they related? Yeah, they're brothers. I didn't know that. Yeah, the hound. Really? No. Because you watched a lot of Game of Thrones. Um, well, I haven't watched it from the start like you did, though. I only watched a couple seasons. Sandor Clegane is the hound, and his face was burned because his brother, the mountain, held his face to a fire when he was a child. I do remember his brother doing that, but I didn't realize it was that guy. Yeah. And that's why they basically hate each other. All right, so I have no idea what you're playing. I think Mirror and Crusader can come in again because this card is... Yeah, there's a whole thing about how the big angry one hor horrifically disfigured the small bitter one. Yeah, that's... And he's not really a small dude, actually. No, they're both compared huge. to the mountain. God, this show's like... That's probably one of my favorite shows, actually. I've only watched it like four times, though, so... Is that all? Yeah. Die Hard, Night Before Christmas, and Elves. Elf. Elves. I don't know why I said Elves. Uh, I think I don't think we really want to board that much in. What do we really see? We saw a murderous red cap, and that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. And a tr uh, treasure map. Yeah. And announced. David Styles, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Crispin. What are you saying? What? Announced. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, this hand is good. Rampant growth for a white, play a four drop, or even Jade Light Ranger. Keep him. Keep him and sneak him. Do you think the guy who plays the Mountain is also in the UFC? Uh, no, he's not. He is a world champion uh, lifter, though. I can't think of his name, but we'll look up the Mountain. And played by... Where does it say? Where's it played by? doesn't say. All right, that's cool. There you go. Professional strongman. Yeah, he's an Icelandic professional strongman. Of course he's from Iceland. Yeah, because he's huge. <laughs> the only, that's where all the, the weightlifters that's where come the from. Giants yeah. come from, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Half the half Bjornsson. That's how hilarious that you is. He's currently world's strongest man. Wow, literally world's strongest man. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I guess we just get a red here. Because we have three green and two white. He's also a basketball player at one point, I guess. Well, aren't we all? No. Oh, that's a good point. I meant no. Six foot nine, geez. You're tall, but I think he could probably crush you. <laughs> yeah, what gave it away? Uh, his massive stature. <laughs> Yeah, let's just go Zanagos. He's also like four inches taller than me. Or three inches. That's a that's a big dude. Yeah, anyone who's taller than me is like, wow, you're really tall. Yeah. I think anyone who's even as tall as you is still like, wow, you're really tall. Also, he's got all these tats too, because it's kind of funny because you don't see them ever in Game of Thrones. He's wearing that armor, son. Yeah, that's true. Eh, we'll attack here. You got nothing on board. Christmas. Bodybuilders eat insane diets. I actually watched a video on it once. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy protein it's like and like protein and carbs like all yeah, day. Mono. Like they eat literally like giant meals four or five times a day. It's insane. So what do we got? One, two, three. Yes, I'm about six six. A little more than that. So we can play a land. We can play Nissa. Untap three lands. Make one extra with this and play like Hunt. I'm pretty sure we just play a Summoned Legion here, right? Like, one thing we can do is go uh, Elvish Mystic, add two with the Xenagos. 
if we did that one, then we'd have to take two, I guess. I guess we just make a guy with Xenagos. It seems fine. I don't have any blue, which is good for us. Create a little gentleman. I feel like your opponent's deck doesn't actually do anything. Mike looks so small on my phone. That's true. He is very... Oh, that's really sad that you would do that. The phone really... Well, it's also the camera angle, and like my chair's smaller, too. So, really. I'm actually taller than Mike. It's a little known fact. That's not true at all. I'm taller. Look, you can see it right on the screen, man. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, illusion's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I done stopped now. slouching. All right, so what's the best use of our mana here? We can play Gruul Signet. We can play an elf. We're definitely going to use this ability to make three. So one thing we can do is go Jade Light Ranger. <laughs> if he starts bodybuilding and becomes Swole Mike, what happens to Swole Mike? Wow. Uh, graveyard. We'll play a land. This isn't going to do anything. So now we're going to make three, four, five. So we can play an elf. Uh, add X mana. Green, 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 red, green. Add this. Play a Nissa. Planeswalkers are so busted in this cube. Three. I wish I had one more mana, but we'll play Gruel Signet. And they're at nine. We have two Planeswalkers. There's no Planar Cleansing. Are you going to settle a wreckage here? Oh, you're going to Avacyn. How nice. Well, that is special, isn't it? I guess we have one Planeswalker now. Is Swole to the past tense? Maybe. This is actually difficult there. This Avacyn is pretty hard to deal with, actually. Hmm. Two, three. Cultivate is not what we're looking for, unfortunately. I wish I had a mana sink for this guy. I just make six mana for nothing and just keep Xenagos alive? That doesn't seem good. Might as well just make a guy. Man. It's probably like Alpha, Alpha, Alpha next turn, depending on what he does. Alpha Strike? Yeah, Alpha Strike. Draw a card. Impersonating me? Can we agree Home Alone 2 is better than Home Alone 1? No, no, we cannot, is correct. <laughs> Home Alone Yeah, two. that seems like a stretch. What about Home Alone 3? What about it? It's pretty bad. Uh everything after Home Alone 1 is pretty bad. It's all it's all like it's stretched to really go downhill. Yeah, it's all Oh, I see. Wrath of God. That's nice. Oh, that was brutal. I am not a fan of that. But now that now you have it, I will not overextend anymore. Christmas vacation. Christmas vacation. What's this? What's this? That's actually pretty unimpressive, all things considered. Well, plusing would have been good now, yes, but just getting an extra turn out of Nissa and we know we're drawing a Cultivate is not really where we want to be. It just doesn't make any sense. There's no real reason to do it that turn. Like, you're just prolonging it for one turn. Uh, which isn't really where you want to be. Especially when we're threatening Alpha, so... I 
I mean, in hindsight, if I know they have Wrath of God, then I'll just plus it. I'll keep I'll keep Xenagos alive for another turn. But we're drawing Cultivate, so like we have no way to save him the next turn either. So we're just going to make a token the next turn instead. So uh, yeah, I'll take three. I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna be baited into that. Little Wrath of God again. Oh, that's a cycle. How does it gain us four life? They attacked the Xenagos. Yep, that seems good. All right, well, we're gonna attack your boy. Uh, Teferi, 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 Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually gonna go all at Teferi. Yeah, they're probably gonna kill the two, two. Yep. Yeah, I just don't think that's a better play. Sorry. I mean, like, it's we're, we're going to disagree. Like, it is an alternative play, yes. But unless they actually have Wrath of God. Uh... Magic ethics question. Is Kizik kosher to use proxies of expensive cards in a home cube? Yes, of course. Yeah, it's... it's I mean, You can it's, use whatever you want in a home cube. It's not a competitive format. Yeah, I actually have... I have counterfeit cards in my cube. Because even if I owned... Like, I don't own power, but, like... This is not a real time twister. This is actually a counterfeit time twister that I use in my cube because I don't own the real card. And if I did, I wouldn't be playing with eight, you know, up to seven strangers um, and letting them use thousand, you know, literally multiple thousand dollars in cards, like just trusting them with that. So it doesn't even, it's not even logical to, to not, uh, to not use. I'm just playing them in general. If it was real. Teferi, 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 your face. I mean, if you have two answers for these bees. <laughs> oh, Lord. One, two. I mean, this is pretty good for our, for our ravenous Baylos. Oop. Well, so we've seen Settle and Wrath of God so far. Uh, if they have a third Wrath effect, so be it. If not, you might be dead here. Karn is not a Wrath effect. I feel like we're in good shape here with uh the best proxies are the ones written in Sharpie on the basic lands. I actually hate those proxies. I hate proxies like that. So I, I don't I don't know what the actual card is. Yeah, I'm a very visual person. So if I can see the card, I'm I'm a lot more like I can look at a time twister without ever reading it and know exactly what it does, but like if I'm just using wow, well, ousting a token. Desperate times. Liliana sacking a dude, alright. Yep. Still still killing you here, right? I mean, you block here, or you block here. Let's say you block here. And this guy becomes a 5-5. Five, five. You take 6. You block... These guys don't have trample, though. No. That'll do. <laughs> Seems good. Seems good. It also makes a beast worth noting. Let's play Blood Raid Elf 2, I guess. I mean, we don't really need to. No, we don't. Wow, Kessig Wolfren end up winning this game is pretty hilarious. So they don't have Settle the Wreckage. 
I don't think there's any three mana instant speed wraths. Last time I checked. You might be right. And the game has ended. Christmas vacation. Our deck is pretty sweet. It's guess the goal front, man. Oh, man. I feel like this is a deck I've kind of wanted to change in between every game. But I think it's good. I think we got a lot. I think it's because we have an abundance of versatile cards. Like, this guy's even good. This is good. This is good. This is really a card I'm, I'm, I'm wrestling with. This is good. This is good. These are nice. You shouldn't wrestle with your cards, Frank. That'll damage them. Oh, dear God. Why are you the way that you are? Can you explain it to me? No. I have yeah. to kill you. Yeah, okay, well. Hey, man, what is that particular set of skills you had? Do you remember? <laughs> I believe it was sleeping. I'll keep this. It's slow, but we gotta cultivate. That's okay. Remember that time they uh, they played Settle the Wreckage and we got four four fours out of it? And for Commander tomorrow, you're doing that later, right? You literally had no other land in your deck? Uh, I don't think so. I think we had lands, right? What did you say to me? Commander we're doing later, right? Tomorrow? Like, yeah. Yeah, why? Just checking because I probably won't be home till like 6 a.m. <laughs> Jesus. That's what happened last time anyway. Two poker games takes a long time. You could always like get six or seven hours of sleep. You don't have to sleep for ten hours a day, man. Well, if I sleep for eight and I get home at six, that's still 2 p.m. Right. But that's still reasonable if you got up at 2 p.m. Yeah. Because you'll probably get up at like 5.30. You don't, you don't know me. Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> Which is that's where my sadness comes from. Do you have a why you have to be mad key on your soundboard? It's only game. So, it's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Yes, I do. Nice haircut, Frank Mike. Now it's your turn, Mike Mike. I just got a haircut like a week ago. I think I'm good for a while. But are you? Like, what's the buy-in like your poker game? Uh, we play ten dollar buy-in with a you can rebuy for an extra ten. You have a one rebuy option. One nickel. So we keep it pretty cash. I guess we're playing this hunt master here. I don't love it because reasons, but it's like enough money to where you care, but not enough money to where you get broke. That's a, that's the sweet spot. Like, I want to play a game and I want to spend just enough so that everybody cares about the game. So everyone's not like, oh, what is it, a nickel? I'll go all in this turn. <laughs> I'll right. go all in this hand, too. <laughs> and you're just like, all right, you clearly have no... You're, just not, you're playing for fun. You're just throwing away whatever. Like, you're not really taking it seriously, so... Yeah, 10-10 ten, ten is, is enough to be serious. I mean, like, you don't really want to lose $20, you know? And winning, seven like, 70 is pretty nice. Can you imagine if MCG implemented quality for cards? And you're like, yeah, depending on how many games you've played them with, they kind of start deteriorating. That would be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Your card has broke. You must repair it. Oh, God. Like, they have durability. Yeah. So it's just like a literally, uh, it's just like a, not like an RPG. What games have durability? RPGs. Are they RPGs? Like, I think yeah. of Diablo when I think of durability, which isn't really an RPG. You might still play serious for zero dollars, but most people will not. Yeah, twenty five is pretty high. Twenty five is like there's actual you can actually go to li literal, literal poker tournaments that are like twenty five dollar buy ins. Right, I'm not gonna play my local game with twenty five, unless they all suck and I'll just clean the house. But cool, I, I like ten lands, three spells. Well, on the bright side, we don't have anything that's going to really uh, pump this guy, so... Got him. Got, got that going for us. I'm going to talk with these two, because, I mean, like... If you block here, I'll just pump it naturally. If you block here, I'll just... Your first buy-in's on me, <laughs> Billy, with the ten bones. Oh, hey, man, man, now you have to go. I'm not going. He yeah, said he... Mike. Oh. 
Well, that's not really going to go to me, though, is it? I can, I'll give you the $10. <laughs> do we pump here? We have to pump, right? Because we're not going to do anything else with it. Yeah, this is fine. I'll, I'll give you a better deal. You oh. keep the $10, and you pay me what you owe me. What is... Well, I don't actually remember what I owe you. I you, know, owe like, you owe me like I 14 owe you bucks. 15? Like 14. 14? All right. Yeah. Something like that. I wish this actually killed a thing. Oh, they're at only at, they're only at six life now. Goosh, <laughs> goosh indeed. We'll hit this palooker nose. So if it tries to like shoot this guy for two, it would trade, nothing yeah. would happen. I don't think it would trade. Actually, it would just take two more, and it would go. To, it would take four damage, and it would be like a six six. So unfortunately, however, we do have a lot of things on board. It's funny if the Kessig Wolf run again wins us the game because they just can't deal with it, but. Five mana is a lot. They're probably just gonna play a Thrag Tusk because that's what they're that's what they want to have. That would suck. You'd suck. That's that's mean, man. It's, it's mean. Beyond. Oh, behold the beyond. Discard your hand. Search your library. Three cards from your hand. Shuffle your library. Hmm, that's pretty good. Huh. Huh, that's pretty good. Huh, but it was Michael. Huh. Huh. This how you're gonna be. Huh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Jesus. Huh, Jesus. Are they going to flip this guy back? Don't do it. They have to, right? Oh, God. It's like a... It's basically just a baby thrag tusk. It's the same thing. It does the same friggin' thing. God, they were so close. They were at six, man. I guess no, we could actually ten. just... We could just keep flipping Ravager of the Fells. They can't really attack. Give me that wolf and that life. Give me something good here. Is that better than flipping this? We flip, we get to shoot their elf and shoot their face. Yeah. As if we play elf, we grow their guy again. Twice. Yeah, yeah. I'll just flip elf. We can also attack with this, but then they just double block. I think it might be worth getting rid of this guy, though. Yeah, I think this is good. You cannot deal with my Thorn Lieutenant. Have you thought about not calling the worst possible card for your opponent to have? It seems every time you do it, it happens. Maybe they want a few I don't know. Maybe that's true. I have considered it, because it happens uh, an awkward amount of the time. Did you ever see my offer for the Gate Crush game to me? No, did I did not. Can you send it to me? Can you can you just message me like an adult, Alan? God, this this block is fine. This block is fine. Actually, how much do we do if we pump uh, extra four? So basically, the same thing. So one, two, and three, and then we do plus four. Yeah, it's fine. Next time, call one with nothing or sorrow's path. Uh, yeah, so we're trading a Thorn Lieutenant for a Pelucranos. Ah, that's totally fine with me. Uh, shoot your face, shoot your boy. Shoot your face and shoot your boy. Do 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 do. Do you like this? Uh, do you like this song I'm singing? All right, so Wednesday we're getting this, uh, we're getting these sauces tomorrow. Are you ready? Actually, only one of them shipped so far. Exhoresco, Brian, we we picked this up. I don't know if you're still in the chat. We we picked this up and da bomb up for uh, for the hot sauce hot sauce stream. Oh, you already have da bomb. No, we don't. We don't. No. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Oh, did we like finish it off? No, I'm pretty sure Justin took the bomb with him. Oh, okay. I have not seen it in the fridge, and I checked. And oh. it's also a very small bottle, so it would definitely stand out. All right, so Aurelia gives you big, big love. When is the hot sauce stream? Probably next week. Oh, actually, we can probably do it on, like, Sunday, if you wanted. We could do it Sunday. We could do it Sunday. That's me making fun of you. So we if we do play... it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, Wednesday I leave for New York. Oh, so okay. it would have to be before Wednesday. Okay. 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 
Hug. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have two cards. How big can this guy get? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That could be a nine. I think we just play Aurelia here. And Bloodbraid Elf, obviously. Hot Ones Classic and Los Calantes are both delicious. I think I like the Classic a little more now. Um, Los Calantes is a little too green. I think it's... Uh... <laughs> we do have... Well, we don't have Last Ab Redux, but we do have Last Ab. I probably should have not cast this. Actually, it's fine, because... Uh, yeah, we don't have the... We just have the original, the OG. The very first dab. I will say red, because then this easily activates. One, two, three. And that's a lot of... So this guy's a problem. You're right. They're also at eight, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll just choose herself. Can we please record the all of my every draft I record, every draft I stream is on YouTube. Uh, even the drafts that go really poorly are still on YouTube. You'll find a lot of one twos and. Uh, I don't think I don't think or yeah one twos and I don't think there's been any o threes recently so o three is pretty bad yeah I don't think I've o three in a long time uh, I was curious if a creature non creature back and forth draft would be viable to have a creature non creature back and forth like so take a creature then not take a creature yeah definitely I could do that if you're referring to a stip we'd have to do it soon though because I'm not even sure oh my god of course like. <sighs> That's extremely frustrating that, like, we play Aurelia hoping we can break through the last few points and they have Garrick. Yeah, I think we're dead cool. now. Super cool. I'm having a good time. Yeah, we have to, if it, if it was for the Modern Cube, we'd have to do it quick, though, because I'm not sure if the Modern Cube is going to be up tomorrow. Yoda, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Do we still have Lethal? I don't... Oh, because of the... <sighs> Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they block the three biggest guys. They take seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it's not lethal. It's definitely not lethal. Is it lethal the turn after, though? I mean, you know, you guys know he gains five life from this, right? Oh, yeah. We could get rid of the Hydra, but it doesn't seem great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, not if the Hydra blocks a two-two, we can't. Like, we actually have no way to do that. I mean, we could Bloodbraid Elf into Garrick and see what happens, which I think is probably okay. Or we can actually just pass and kill the Garrick, which is nice. Actually, I mean, we're still in good shape here. Then we kill the Garrick, kill the Cobra. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm actually tempted to go face with this. Because you have to block. But we can we can pump for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 10 and we can easily kill the Hydra if they block with the Hydra. If not, they just take a million. Like, we kill anything they block with. If they block with Cobra, I mean, sure, we lose two points from this, but we deal them, like, eight, so. It's whatever. Ba boom 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 ba boom 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 ba boom 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 Oh, this is perfect. Thank you for choose you. One, two, three, four. 
The vacuum just started. Seven, deal. I don't think you have a one mana spell. Get rid of your biggest dude for my three two. Flip your boy. Kill your Cobra, kill your Garrick. Wow, this is a good deal. <laughs> wow, Huntmaster of the Fells is a real card. Whoo, biscuits. I would concede right here. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, you got it. This Kessel Wolf run, man. Told you. Woo. Oh, I don't think it was Chick Magnet. I think it was, um, what's the Green Day song? Longview? I feel like I have the Longview stuck in my head forever. Oh, of course, they're all just, they're all just pop punk power chords, so it's, they probably sound very similar. Oh, Harmonize, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, I like it when people first notice the Mountain Dew bottle invisible. Mountain Dew ice. It's just regular Mountain Dew, you nerd. No, it's ice. Oh, I didn't know that. My mistake. So the green deck. What does the green deck have for four green that can actually... Nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, nothing. Maybe they don't attack with all... No, they do. Sit around and watch the tube, but nothing's on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Still short, but we get to trade here and you have nothing on board. So. Oh, that's exactly. Nine. Oh, was it nine? One, two, three. Oh, because I didn't count the original two from him. I was like, oh, there's going to be seven damage, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, this is nine. It's exact -sies. Yep, Magic's a cool game. All right, so Lightning Helix should probably come in. So should Burst Lightning and Sun Lance. All of these, like, get rid of your stupid idiot creature cards need to come in. Stupid idiot. Wow. Hornet Queen's low as flow. I don't think I care about... Yeah, same with Plow Under. Yeah. Hornet Queen I kind of like is just because it can block all of their things and kill them, and they're just a green deck. Yeah. You can probably kill like Beast of Then. I was thinking that. It's a good answer to Garrick, and it's a good answer to. Oh, yeah, they have Garrick bringing back. Mana, the Mana Hydra, Mana Gorger. Yeah, I guess bring it back. If it gets too out of control. Elspeth seems awkward, but I do like the ability to jump and kill their Planeswalker, but I mean, I can see Elspeth coming out. I'll go 41. I'll do it. I'm crazy. We could bring in Thunder My Hellkite. I don't think that's necessary. This hand really seems like a snapper. This hand is a snapper deluxe. Snapper deluxe? Yeah, I'm keeping this. That's what I order at the restaurant. Give me that snapper deluxe, boy. What do you got this Iron Mesa? Uh, Temple My card? dad. Oh, we're getting your dad. Yeah. Oh, no, we're getting... We're just going to play Forest Pilgrim. Maybe we can actually Sunlance this guy. Is that better? Nah. Oh, we should have brought in Crusader. They're right. Oh, yeah, that's... See, this is what I mean. Our sideboard is actually very, very diverse. We have a pretty nice sideboard. Snapper Deluxe? Yeah, that's a code for crab sandwich. <laughs> Let me get the Snapper Deluxe with cheese. You like that? Crab with cheese? Gross. It is gross. You're right. Seafood with cheese is a no-no. I'm going to kill this. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's going to be exciting. Okay. Look what just happened. Wow, so exciting. Are you excited? Oh my god, I'm are so you, excited. <laughs> are you not entertained? Uh, let's get a white here. We already had a white. We already have all the colors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we don't have Elspeth anymore, though. So what? I just got to land, man. Hey, Mike, the filet, yeah, but if this the filet fish has fish and cheese, yeah, and it's garbage. I like that filet -o fish was your, was your go-to there. You're like, uh, excuse me, the filet -o fish... American cheese on fish. Gross. I'm just going to cultivate here because I'm going to be able to play prime time next turn. Oh, I get two. Oh, I get double four Estos. Oh, I get two. I hate you so much. Oh, boy. It's really awkward the amount I hate you because you think like, hey, man, we're really good friends. I shouldn't hate you that much, but here we are. Sometimes you have to paint with all the colors of the wind, Mike. Wow. Have you ever done that before? 
Paint with all the colors of the weaned. The weaned? The weaned. Can't have weaned without ween. <laughs> if you know what I mean. No, please explain it to me. Alan McBeck. What about salmon and cream cheese on a bagel? That's not... Cream cheese isn't cream a real cheese. Cream cheese doesn't count. That's not a real cheese. Just around the internet. Remember that, Jam? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about all that jazz. I knew what you were going to do. And I let it happen. I'm going to get a stomper. And then we're going to play Ya Boy. They have one card in hand. They're basically dead. Hey, we can finally get Wolf Run. Finally? <laughs> turn four and for finally getting wolf run i'll get copper line gorge because i don't feel like having that dude come in and play tapped in my later turns if they attack i'm just taking six here we can play both of these next turn we can kill their nissa of course they're probably just gonna go tap four five untap four play garrick kill primeval titan attack for seven that's what i assume you're gonna do because your last card is gonna be a garrick it was a steel leaf champion which is significantly less threatening I think we you are just, correct. I think we just won the game because of that. Just around the river bend. Uh, I will not block because ain't nobody got time for that. Something good. That's good. I think One, not two, blocking three. there was kind of greedy. It's a 6-6. Six, six. I don't want to trade. I want to have something on board to kill this. Aren't we like dead if he attacks? Don't we go on? We gain four. We can make a blocker. Okay. Another thing we can do is attack you. What is it? Six, seven, eight, nine. Like we can just play this. Maybe we're dead. I don't know, man. But who cares? It's just Magic the Gathering, bro. <laughs> Bruh. I wish any of these were, were Vivian killable, though. Uh, I don't think we can play our hand here. Uh, I think that's a little bit ambitious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. This would be eight or nine, and then we have no three extra three. I have no idea how we're playing out our hand here. Almost, I miscount. Well, yes, by three. There's a significant amount. We could add one with this guy. Or we can actually play Knight. And play Xenagos. Then we have one, two, three, four. We're one shy, I guess. But, I mean, adding mana with Xenagos doesn't seem ideal. Also, once we kill this, like, we don't have to worry about the forest anymore. So they only have a million things. You can play it out over time. We're definitely playing you. Yeah, we're just going to go out the Vivian Reed. Or the Nissa rather. And if we get to just kill a bunch of their things in the process, that's also fine. Yeah, but if we if we gain four off this can't block steel if we we can block the Pelucranos with it, which is just fine. I was actually considering the implication of Elspeth jumping their guy and then killing it with Vivian Reed. I think that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's a little combo. Yeah, that's a nice little and they're always they're both one of them's a plus ability, so. Uh let's get Sacred and Temple. Nope and nope. So how much can we make this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can make this a 12, which means even if you double block, she goes to 1, and we kill a land and a steel leaf. But then we die, because we take 6, 7, plus 4. Well, that would be sad, wouldn't it? Oh, they're just going to trade. 
That's great because this forest is no longer a thing next turn. It isn't. No. Oh, sure is it? That? It's not till end of turn, is it? Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. It should still be fine. We still get to gain four. I don't think we're playing Vivian Reed here. I think we just need the guys on board. Um, or we can block here, but then we're probably just going to die to these two. So I think we need the life, and then we block six. Which seems fine. And then we can Xenagos make a dude. Uh, keep a white up. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so we can go block here, block here. We take five, six, seven, eight, and we go to three, and they're in top deck mode. That seems good. I think we can also just untap and kill them with a primal titan if they alpha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 14, 15, 16 from this guy. We're super close. Oh, God. The top of my deck was actually three cards. Can't block the champion? Yeah, I didn't say we can block the champion. I said we're going to block here and block the forest. So we take five, six, seven. Eight, if they attack with this guy. Nothing blocks champ. You are dead. We don't We don't have to block. We're at 11. Why would we have to block the champion? I don't understand what you guys are saying right now. We're at 11 life. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden we have to block champion. This is very strange. No, man, they did the math. It's okay. We double checked it. We are we read the numbers. You're basically dead. Chat lethal. Sure. Uh, considering you're going at him, I'm actually just going to block Prolucranos and take four. Actually, hold on. They have one mana up. Are they dead here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus six is fourteen. Fifteen, six, seven, eight, eighteen. Oh, they're two off. Yeah, even if we draw a land, they're one off. Yeah, I think it's worth preventing six here because of that. Could double block the land. We still take one if we do that. Yeah, but it gets rid of it, right? It does get rid of it. Yeah, that seems better. We go to five, though, which is a problem because they have Steel Leaf. But we can always block here and then find something to block here. We actually go to four, which is worse, but doesn't really make it that much of a difference. Can't double block? Wow, we can't double block? We Man, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, actually, Rampaging Bailoth and Attack with Primeval Titan is pretty insane. Yeah, that's pretty one, good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. We can also play Vivian Reed, too. So that's pretty insane. Because even if we hit just a land off Vivian Reed. This has been an awkward chat game where, like, we actually were dead on board because we can't block Steel Leaf Champion. We can't double block the land. None of, none of these things are uh, working out for us, unfortunately. Eh, Jade Let Ranger's fine. We're not going to prioritize that over over your boy, though. It's your boy. I will get these lands. This land is your land. This land is my land. From Michael Bar Bobbly Boo to, to California. Mind. Yes. So I feel okay with a 6-6 six, six and a 2-4-4s four, four on board. You have to deal with two of them. And I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Well, I think if we untap, they're super dead. 
Oh, Samuel, you thought they were attacking at us with all of it. That's why you said we couldn't double block. I get you. Yeah, so we're not going to make... Um, yeah, we're not going to make the decision to double block if we're dead. That's I don't know if you guys... I don't know how much credit you guys give me, but... Uh, if they just sack this and draw six, they're dead. Yeah, okay. That's... They just basically conceded. <laughs> like, well, I guess I'll just concede. Because nothing you can draw for one mana is going to save you against this onslaught with Kessig Wolf in play. That's the end. I'm conflicted because your interaction with the chat makes me want to type. But my existence as part of Twitch chat makes me feel like I'm part of a stupid version of the Borg Collective. How do I resolve this conflict? It's difficult. Uh, it's It takes a lot of uh, a soul searching, I think. Let's keep on... Keep on keeping on. Hornet Queen. Hmm. Probably worse than better. a land. Yeah, worse than a land. Also, if we put these two lands back, we can get them both out with Primeval Titan. True. Yeah, they're the last two lands in our deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, and then there's 16 lands in our deck. I said true. Okay, I'm sorry. The best part is that even if we alpha here, we still get two more beasts. So it's not even like we're throwing blockers away. Rampaging Baloths has consistently impressed me in this cube. You thought it was a Dirtle at first. Yeah, but now I've seen the light. Yeah, you're like, oh, that they... Because, like, they get one turn to kill it. Or else you get out of you run away with the game with this. Especially in the green decks. Where you're like, oh, my Rampant Growth is a 4-4 now. These are your blocks. So you take 6, 10... You have one mana up. Huh. Definitely nothing you can do. So 6, 10, 14. That should be fine. I want to keep... I'll keep Jade Light Ranger mana up for funsies. Definitely for funsies. Got him. This deck was super sweet. 3 -0. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Also, if you guys are interested, you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. That is a great deal. And you, if you guys need that stuff anyway, please feel free to check that out. Helps me, helps you. Another thing I want to mention is Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. Uh, he made an amazing cube deck box for me. It looks incredible. It was made of Coco Bolo, and uh, he just does amazing work. So feel free to check the link out in my description below. Uh, you will get 10% off if you use promo code Frank. And if you're looking for anything custom that's not just in his store, if you mention the stream, you will get, like, he'll, he'll hook you up with some kind of some kind of perks, whatever you guys discuss. And um, hopefully you guys can check that out, too. He's been amazing, and uh, he's, he's sponsoring the stream for a little bit to see how that goes but if you guys are looking for stuff like that definitely check it out his stuff is extremely high quality you can i've seen it i touched it he did he touched it and he's seen it and uh you can find the description for that in my twitch profile or in uh the description for youtube so check those out thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons i will see you next time